Let's move over to a cross-divisional matchup here against two really solid squads. One of them trying to rebound, that being the University of Central Missouri. The Mules, previously at number two in the country, they drop a game to Central Oklahoma. They're at number 11. They go on the road to Davenport and eke out this win. 32-31, to UCM brings home the one-point win with literally the smallest margin of victory you have possible. Now, as you see here, we start to roll the tape. Zabrowski, still very much a dog. Still can sling the football. Davenport, though, as you can see, did a good job of getting back to him, making him scramble, and make some maybe uncharacteristic type of plays. He still ended up having himself a day. I'm not going to make it seem like uh, they really contained Zabrowski because they certainly did not. When you read the stat lines here, coming off the box score of this one, he was 31 for 47, 349 yards and a touchdown. Did have the one takeaway, though, Davenport defense had an interception that certainly helped them along the way this was the story of the game for Davenport that would be Myron Harris juking people out midfield and just outrunning the rest of them and I'm going to talk about Central Missouri did a fantastic job of limiting the Panthers on the ground they held Davenport to a total of 55 yards rushing on the day but the big plays are really what hurt UCM that being the first of two Myron Harris touchdowns 60 yards and then 48 yard touchdown receptions for the running back from Davenport in this one. Those are the, the big plays that hurt the Mules. Can you look at every other metric from this game? The Mules really dominated. 33 first downs to 19 of Davenport. That ran for 150 compared to the 55 of Davenport. Total offense over 120 yards difference. They only punted the ball once. The Mules were... Uh, Five of seven inside of the red zone. So there's a lot of things going very well here for Central Missouri. Their offense was certainly clicking. Maybe struggled to finish a few times as far as touchdowns are concerned. You see the field goal here in the red zone. Not able to come away with six or seven points early. And this game early on was kind of back and forth. Central Missouri did have a safety here pretty shortly after these couple plays. Uh, Davenport led 7-5. to five. And then going into the halftime, into halftime, excuse me, it was 14-12 Davenport. That's where UCM, their offense, finally woke up. Now, into the fourth quarter, Myron scores his second touchdown of the day. That made it 28-25 Davenport. UCM had to respond. And if I uh, move forward on this one, sorry, the highlights are, are pretty long here. But I want to move forward so I can make sure I see these. And Myron's second touchdown of the day right here. Nope, nope. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Here it is. Like we talked about, another kind of flare slash swing route on the outside. And he just outruns and goes through someone to the pylon right there. So that made it 28-25 Davenport and Selly up in the end zone. We got a combination of a couple different ones. Uh, but UCM would bounce back here. A cu nice couple stops on defense for the Mules. They get the ball back. Zabrowski looks downfield. He launches one up. And that was a tip drill takeaway. Their one takeaway from Davenport came in the fourth quarter. Now, a three-point lead for the Panthers. A takeaway in the fourth quarter. That could have been icing on the cake. And honestly, it was very close to being so. You see this deep pass completed here. And they would actually hold Davenport to a field goal. They had first and goal from around the nine-yard line. There's our guy Preston Smith right there making a big-time grab. They had first and goal from the nine-yard line. It turns into second and 14. They actually don't end up converting. There's Smith again trying to make a stretch for the goal line. They don't end up converting. They have to settle for a field goal inside of the red zone here. That makes it 31-25 to Davenport leading by a score, and Central Missouri needs to respond. They do, right up the middle. And uh, that's uh, Langelo Bell for Central Missouri scoring with just a minute left in the fourth quarter. This extra point, which was so close to being blocked, ends up icing it for the Mules. That's a really big-time win for Central Missouri on the road and a bounce-back win at that, dropping from number two in the country to number 11 and having to maybe look a little internally for the Mules. Everything, all of their goals are still ahead of them for that Central Missouri squad. I'm excited to continue to follow them down the road. Now, 